hey guys and welcome back in this video we are going to see how to get the white screen or the full screen display in linux mint which is running on virtualbox so in the last video we have seen how to install the linux mint on virtualbox if you have missed that i'll keep the link in the description of this video so that you can check out that video and then after that you can come to this video where we are going to install the guest edition to get the widescreen display as well as the other features which are available with the guest editions once you are done with that just open your virtual box manager then click on your virtual machine which you have created for the Linux Mint all right then click on settings and then under system make sure you have allocated at least two cpu if you can allocate more cpu that is going to give you a better performance and then click on display tab and then make sure that the video memory that you have allocated is 128 mb and also if you click on system then we have this base memory make sure that you have allocated at least 4 gb of base memory or the ram if you can allocate more than 4 GB, that's going to give you a better performance, but at least keep it till 4 GB. Then finally, just click on OK and we are ready to start our virtual machine. So just click on start. Let your virtual machine start up. And uh, just enter your password and log in into your account. All right. We can close this message. All right. Now to install the guest editions, just click on this devices menu in the menu bar and then scroll to the last option that says insert guest editions CD image. And then you will get this message. This medium contains software intended to be automatically started. Would you like to run it? I am not willing to run it from the graphical user interface because it's more easier to install any package or software using the terminal. So I'll just right click on this mounted CD-ROM and click on open. This is the CD-ROM which corresponds to the guest edition that we have mounted just now. And then we have all the files which are needed to install the guest editions for different operating systems. And since this one is Linux, so we have to run vbox linux editions dot run. So let's open the terminal. And to open the terminal, you have to hit Control plus Alt plus T, and the terminal is going to pop out. And let me just increase the size. All right. Now just type find mount because first of all we have to find the mounted CD ROM. And you can see the last one that says media forward slash tanzil forward slash virtual box guest edition. This is the folder that we need to access. So I'll just copy the location from here. And then type sudo space and then paste the location that we have copied. Also, if you try to paste the path using control plus V, then you will not be able to do so. So I will suggest you to right click on the terminal and then click on paste. All right. And then after that, add a forward slash. And then we have to write the name of the file that we need to run. And the name of the file is vbox linux editions dot run. Then hit enter. Then it's going to ask for your password. So just enter your password and hit enter. And the VirtualBox Linux installer is going to start up. Now we don't have to do anything. Let the installation complete. And it's going to build the modules for VirtualBox guest editions kernel. And then finally, we will have this message that says running kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted, which means the kernel modules which are already running in the operating system, they cannot be overwritten or they cannot be replaced till the computer is restarted. So we just have to reboot now. So just type reboot. And uh, the operating system is going to reboot. All right. Now once the reboot is over, just click on this resize button. 
and then click on maximize all right and then you will get the full screen display or the white screen display also if you want to change the resolutions according to your need you can right click on this display icon and then scroll to virtual screen one and then you can see all the options that are available to choose from let's say i will choose this one 1920 by 1080 now this resolution is the perfect for my display but since we have a title bar a menu bar on the top as well as a status bar on the bottom we are getting this scroll bars on the x and the y axis now to get rid of them you can just click on this view menu and then click on full screen mode all right then it's going to give a message that you need to remember the keys which you can use to exit the full screen mode and the shortcut is host plus f the host key is the right control key so right control plus f is going to exit the full screen mode so just click on switch then you can see that we have the full screen which has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and if you want to check more about it you can just click on start menu and then just hover over preferences and then on the right side click on display and from here you can see the resolution that we have right now is 1920 by 1080 which is the highest resolution that i can get on my display so which means we have successfully installed the guest edition as well as we have the high resolution display that we wanted and if the fonts are too small for you to read you can change the scaling option that is the monitor scale it's on 100 percent you can make it 125 and see if the fonts are readable to you now if you still have problem reading the text then you can increase the scale to 150 now that's a personal choice on you but anyways with this we have completed the installation of the guest edition on the linux mint which is running on virtual box and uh, we have the widescreen display as well so i hope you liked the video so don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching